this is how the foundation is looking um, after everything is now put together. I said I'm going to be going out right now and checking in later today. Um, right now I'm already like sweating a little bit and I finish my makeup. I want to say like putting my face like my whole foundation and everything about like 20 minutes ago. Um, so we'll see how this foundation um, you know holds up throughout the day um, but for today we have a first impression which I'm really excited I haven't tried a uh, foundation in quite a long time I have been loving my NYX can't stop won't stop and I cannot like stop using it it's so good for today's video I have the Tarte found sealer uh, foundation first impression and I'm on their website right now and they have 30 shades which is not a lot it's very kind of like restricting as you can see they only have a couple with um, like darker shades I mean I know that this foundation is not new but I really wanted to give it a try and kind of like give it my review I'm gonna go to a family party so it's kind of like the perfect situation where I can do a first impression so I can tell you guys how it held up uh, by the end of the day it is the Balasu Conceal Foundsealer a vegan skincare foundation aka your total complexion solution this vegan makeup and skincare hybrid delivers an ultra comfortable natural radiant finish and medium customizable coverage so you can live your day your way. So basically customizable means I'm pretty sure that you can like build it up to full coverage. It uh, What it does, the claims, it helps hydrate and give the appearance of plumper skin while minimizing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Protects skin with SPF 20 which is essential rain or shine. Formulated with nourishing super bomb baba su essential fatty acids and antioxidants. Lets you live your day your way. And then you can do light coverage or light to medium coverage. Um, you can just build it up. This is the packaging right here. Um, this foundation gives you uh, one fluid ounce, which is very typical of foundations. My NYX gives you the same thing. This is um, $14.99, $15 around there. And then this was $39, like I said. I do love the um the packaging it is so cool like you just twist it like this i'm going to be prepping my skin just like i do every day when i wear foundation and i have mine in the color 24g light golden so let's start by prepping my skin i'm going to be first moisturizing my skin um this is the facial um or the ultra repair cream intense hydration for dry parched skin i've been using this for a really long time from first aid First Aid Beauty. I always forget the name of the brand. Like the NYX foundation, it holds up amazing during the day. Um, right now, I've been doing like summer camp for work, so then um, it's been holding really, really nice throughout the day. I'm going to take my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is the primer that I use every single day. And I just grab a pea size primer <laughs> amount, and I just try to like press it onto my skin just in the areas that I know it tends to get a little oily or tend to like my foundation tends to not stick there very well and I'm just going to use a little bit of this elf poreless uh, putty primer um, it's the primer everybody went like crazy for it I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and just put it a little bit here because this is where I have my pores a little bit bigger and they tend to show more with the foundation. So that is how I prep my skin. Now I'm going to go ahead and my skin is ready. I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Okay, it's thick. Um, it reminded me a lot of like my NYX, my NYX foundation. So I grabbed two pumps in the back of my hand. Let's see how far this goes. It is really, really thick. So I'm just going to work a little bit at a time. And I'm going to be using my e.l.f. beauty sponge and... The formula again reminds me a lot of the NYX foundation. I want to say this is very like medium coverage. As you can see the difference. 
and I didn't put a lot. So um, a little bit of foundation goes a long way. I mean, I can still see a little bit of my redness here. It has a beautiful glow to it. Not very much into like glowy foundations. I like my foundations matte um, and very like high coverage. So I'm just going to put a little bit here where I can still see kind of like the redness of my skin and see how it builds up. This color actually matches me really, 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 really nice. Um, as you guys can see, I have a little bit of blemishes. It's that time of the month. So, um, but as you can see, I don't know, I really, really like the coverage. It gives me a medium coverage. Um, I can still see a little bit of my redness right here from those blemishes. But other than that, I really like it. It covered most of my redness on my cheeks. It matched my skin really, really nice. I'm going to grab a little bit more and just build it up right here. It builds up really nicely. It doesn't like get like cakey. Okay, so as you can see, this is that this has no foundation whatsoever, just my redness, and then this is the side with foundation. You can still see a tiny bit of redness right here, my blemishes, but overall, like, I mean, it covered everything really, really nice. Okay, I'm going to work on the rest of my skin. Overall, it covered my blemishes really, really nice. As I said multiple times, I see a little bit of redness right here, but those are like blemishes from my skin. and They don't really like um, bother me that much. It has really, really nice coverage. It blends beautifully. It has a little bit of glow to it. If you have um, oily skin, I mean, we're going to see how it works throughout the day and how like it lasts throughout the day because I do have oily skin. It's a really, really nice glow. I really like it. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face, put on my concealer, and like give you guys my final thoughts before I head out and go about my day to see how this foundation lasts. Okay, so I finished my whole face right now, and I do feel um, that it's... I, I set my face with the Studio Fix uh, powder from MAC, and I usually set my face, and I can still feel it a little bit, like tacky just a tiny 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 bit and that is like a powder foundation so it should be able to like set it in place as far as my concealer my powders like everything went on super smoothly i am still trying out my l'oreal full um wear concealer because it's a little bit dry under my eyes but it um blended out really really nice top of the foundation like i said everything went on really really nice really smooth right now i'm going to go and finish my eyes put on some lashes do my hair and then head out the door because i have to leave like in 30 minutes I'm going to come back later today and see my final thoughts, see how it wore out throughout the day, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I am back from the little carne asada that I went to, and um, I was there literally for like two and a half hours, um, but I came home and I'm dying to take this makeup off because I have my allergies and I want to take a nap, so... I just, I need to take this face off. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys a little update. Uh, from afar, it looks really, really nice. My face, like, looks put together. Um, I don't, I don't, like, you can't see that if I'm oily or not. Um, actually, like, up close, I don't look that oily, actually. It feels a little, like, tacky. Um, a little bit less than what it felt as soon as I, like, put my powder on top of it. My nose is a little bit oily, but that's no surprise because I've had oily skin, like, my T-zone. Um, but overall, it looks really, really nice. Um, like I said, I've been only wearing this foundation for about, like, four hours, four and a half hours. But I cannot see my, like, blush anymore. It's There's, like, a hint of it. Highlight, it's, like, not even there anymore. Um, my nose, I mean, it's a little, like, my highlight on my nose, you can see it. Um, but I mean... My bronzer, you can barely see it just a tiny bit. Like right here around my nose, it's already like caking up as well as like it's sinking into my fine lines. And like I said, I've only been wearing this foundation for about four and a half hours. Like I said, overall, like from afar, it looks 
nice from afar. I mean, I like it, but it's not like a foundation that I would like wear or even like keep, you know, it's just like my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop, like I rave about this foundation so much because it literally like I can stand outside for like six hours straight and my makeup is going to look good and I have oily skin. Um, this definitely like it make for me it's like my favorite foundation of all time, the one that I've tried. I've tried so many foundations and definitely this one like outruns all of them definitely so yeah I mean you can ask for a sample try it for yourself um I did set it with a powder um like I did all my routine that I do with every single foundation that I tried and I still like see it you know like caking up a little more even after like four hours of wearing it so it's not like la long lasting um that is not one of the claims I believe I don't think I read like long lasting but still you know like after four and a half hours I don't you know like I don't see it becoming one of my favorite foundations. Um, it's a really nice finish overall, but I mean, it's not something that I would like grab every day for like my everyday foundation. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. As always, the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box. If you guys haven't seen this makeup look, I will be linking it down below in the description box as well as up, up here if you guys haven't watched that. Um, and until next time, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!